This breaking story is from the Republican National Convention, and it comes with a warning. You're going to hear some pretty vile things from MAGA extremists, words that are 100% contrary to the optics you might be seeing and reveal the dark underbelly that still exists in the Republican Party as a result of Donald Trump making white nationalism great again. Like, there's a white genocide going on in the world. White people are being systematically replaced in America. At the convention, the Republicans have rebranded themselves the Party of Unity, a spin that resulted from the Donald Trump assassination attempt. But they could have spun into the Party of Diversity because many people of color have had prominent roles at the convention. I am the proud granddaughter of Mexican farm workers. We escaped from Vietnam just days before Saigon fell to the communists. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> but not everyone was pleased by the diversity they were seeing. Conservative commentator Daniel Horowitz was seething after seeing the inclusion. He said on X, a night of endless racial and ethnic pandering, union communism, not just populism, and a porn star. This is going to be a long haul. Good on the Republican Party for making progress, even if it falls well short of the authentic inclusion found in the Democrat Party. But the optics do not make up for the large element of the base that was not represented at the convention. And I'll reveal their vile reaction to one of the most important moments at the convention in just a minute. Something that can't be ignored this year is the prominent role that people of Indian descent have had at the convention. Nikki Haley, a daughter of Indian immigrants, made history by becoming the first prominent woman of color to seek the Republican nomination. She spoke at the convention after swallowing her pride in one-time honest opinion of Trump. He also showed moral weakness. That sent a wrong message to the world. And then there's Vivek Ramaswamy, son of Indian immigrants, who is best known as a Trump sycophant who has been angling for a strand of Donald's hair to keep in a locket under his pillow since day one. If you want to revive national pride in this country, vote Trump. If you want to make America great again, vote Trump. And here's something that has gone under the radar that I would like to surface for you before we get to today's story. Harmeet Dillon is a Republican National Committee woman who led a prayer at the convention earlier this week. To show respect, we cover our heads when we pray. And it resulted in the hate and vitriol that we have come to expect from MAGA extremists. This was tweeted by Lauren Elena Witzke, an American alt-right political activist and QAnon enthusiast who said, how about you get deported instead, you pagan blasphemer? And it doesn't really get more vile than that, except it does when you consider the magnitude at the heart of today's story about Trump's running mate's wife, Usha Vance, who is also of Indian descent and could be first lady one day. After she introduced her husband, the floodgates opened, as perfectly described by George Takai, who said, MAGA fans have racist meltdown after discovering J.D. Vance's wife is not white. And ComicSans.com curated more of the racist hate with these gems. Bleach Demon said, wait, he's married to a brown? Stu Peterson said, Trump VP nominee and his Indian wife have three children named Ewan, Vivek, and Maribel. He's not one of us. And Nick Fuentes, known white nationalist and MAGA cheerleader, had one of the most egregious responses. Here's his vile pontification. It's like, who is this guy really? Do we really expect that the guy who has an Indian wife and named their kid Vivek is going to support white identity? Like, there's a white genocide going on in the world. White people are being systematically replaced in America and Europe through immigration and to a much lesser extent due to intermarrying. This guy has a non-white wife and a kid named Vivek. This guy is going to be a defender of white identity? I don't think so. This guy's going to defend American identity? If he does, it's going to be no better than any of these other civic nationalists like Vivek Ramaswamy. How else could you countenance American identity if you have a mixed up family like that? I really hate giving those people the attention they crave, so let's take a moment and cleanse our palates. Take a breath. <sighs> as I share the words of some passionate people who are protesting outside of the Republican convention to remind us of what many in MAGA stand for and what's at stake in November. 
And while that's playing, I want to know what you think about MAGA's reaction to people of color on the RNC stage. Please comment below. Thanks. Many demonstrators saying Donald Trump must be stopped. I anticipate obviously more of the same, which is uh, lies, manipulation, division, hate mongering, more of the same. That's his script. Because of what he represents, what he stands for, the symbolism that is Trump, and he's helped unify so much hate that such a symbol shouldn't be around. Oppose the racist and bigoted agenda of the Republican Party. Upwards of 3,000 people gathered at Red Arrow Park before marching to the site of the RNC. Two years in the making, but seeing all the people come out and showing a united front, that's what we want. It's important that we call it out, that we be seen, uh, because we're on the side of justice and equality, and, um, and we're here for each other, and we are the majority, and we have to make sure we turn out at protests and that we turn out on election day.